Hello again folks, it's Wild Adventures with Steve and I am here in a remote location of Western North Carolina looking uh, for a timber rattlesnake. Um, and this rattlesnake is part of a project that Ron Davis is working on. Uh, Ron is a professor at uh, Western Carolina University. Uh, and, and here is Ron, he's going to tell you a little bit about what he is doing with these rattlesnakes. All right, well this is a, a male timber rattlesnake that I've been tracking. This is the third year we've been tracking him and we're trying to find out how he acts around uh, roads, as you can hear a busy road in the background, and housing development. And uh, we're going to go see if we can hunt this guy down and see what kind of habitat he's using and, and how he's behaving. All right, sounds good, Ron. Let's go. Thank you. You hear that change? Mm -hmm. He's still uphill from us, but not, not nearly as far. Pretty close. Okay. Where you put your feet? He could still be above us mm -hmm. with the transmitter acting like this. Right. But it's certainly acting like not. It's acting like he's really close. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. It's always a good idea before you start taking off to look around your feet, you know, before you mm, definitely. <laughs> yeah, because I mean these animals do not like to be seen and so they'll sit so still. Mm -hmm. And I've walked, I've circled around this animal on numerous occasions like this with the transmitter just sort of acting funny and you can't really tell if you're above him or below him and, and then uh, pretty soon you realize you've walked completely around him <laughs> and he almost will never, never give himself away. I think in the wild one time this animal's ever rattled at me and that was when he was getting ready to shed and he didn't like my getting near him. Right. And he rattled before I got close. Just warning you, you're too close. Yeah. Yeah. And he's a big snake. Mm -hmm. If he did choose to bite, he could certainly pack a wallop. But How much did he weigh when you put the transmitter in him? He was about a thousand grams. Oh wow, yeah, he's a big snake. But he's always been amazingly tolerant. Mm-hmm of me. Oh, there he is. He's See? right here. He's right here. Oh, there he is. Okay, yeah. Right here. I knew we were close. Hey, big yep. guy. And we walked. Oh, he's just molted. Yeah, he has. Look how beautiful Look he is. Look at that color. He's got that. Absolute... Yeah, we walked right past him yep, three and then right back. Yeah. And he did not move, didn't rattle. No. He, he's relying on his camouflage to hide him. Yeah, that's why I said I never, I never bother him because I want him to think that camouflage works. I don't want him to get upset. I don't want him to feel like he has to strike. Exactly. But I'll guarantee he's known we were here when we pulled up in the truck. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Easy. Um, but yeah, he has not shed very. It's not been very long because that that's a really brilliant bright coloration for him. He is really pretty. And he is that black head and that yellow black mix is. He's one of the prettiest snakes I've ever seen. I think I have to agree with you. That is an absolutely gorgeous snake. Um, wow. Yeah, he's just, yeah. I've got so many pictures of him and I never get tired of taking him because he's just so good looking. Yeah. You can see Ron's taking a picture of him. Ron's what, like, uh, what are you, three and a half feet from him? And he's not moving. So this goes to show that the rattlesnake is, he's terrified right now. Yeah, he is, he, he's absolutely, he's not flickering his tongue. Um, they just sit, they sit so still. That's just probably about the lightest I think I've seen him. Like I said, I, he can't be more than a week or so off of a shed. He's just really, really pretty. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and just to show you how amazingly camouflaged they are, I mean, we walked right by him, didn't see him. I looked down here at this rock, and he was right above it. I mean, you're standing on it now, and I didn't even see him. 
perfect camouflage. They stand out. They after, do. After you see them. Yeah, they do. Once you see them, but if you're not if you're not looking for them, you probably never would see them. Incredible. I don't know if you can see this right here. Yeah, I can see the hole. Yeah. 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 There's a, probably a bad day for a chipmunk or something. <laughs> um. Uh huh. You know, so many people think that these animals will, if given the chance, leap at you and kill you instantly. But here we are, only inches away from him, and he's he's afraid of he's so much more afraid of us than we are of him. And now, are they getting ready to put a house in? Uh, how close to his uh, territory, or in the middle of his territory? I think you were saying. Well, in, in part of the area where he likes to spend his summer, and I wonder if that's why he's up here, because I've never I've never gotten him in this location before. Um, He's close. He's not very far from places I found him, but um, normally this time of the year he's he's a little farther down slope. But they're starting to to construct a house down there, mm -hmm. and so I'm I'm afraid that he's shifting his habitat use a little bit, mm -hmm. um, which he's done uh, a couple of times with houses and house constructions. He seems to really want to avoid people, and um, if we were to leave and come back, um, I'm I'm almost sure that he'll he'll have gone off. Yeah. He won't be there where he is. He won't move as long as we're standing here. Mm -hmm. But I bet if we walk to the truck and come back to this spot, he um, that he won't be here. And I'll be able to test that. I'll come back in a few hours and track him and see where he's moved. My guess is that it's not been that long since he's eaten, too. Yeah, he looks pretty plump, doesn't he? Yeah. Boy, he's just a guy. He's a good-looking snake. He sure is. Those you know, incredible color patterns. Yeah, he's just been one of my favorite animals. Mm, I can see why. Absolutely beautiful. And that's probably, I would say that's a hunting type, you know, he's waiting on something to come by. He might have been stretched out a little bit more and he's coiled up as we came, as we approached, but, mm -hmm. you know, that seems like that's more, he's waiting for something to pass. Right. Maybe he's trying to digest whatever passed earlier because there is that active hole. Yeah, yeah. Um, I found him on more than one occasion sitting outside of a chipmunk hole or something along those lines, which is really the only purpose for that venom it's it's uh events if they have to use it but it isn't um it isn't there it's not what they want to use it for and they don't want to waste it on something like us that they can't eat it's it's a it's a weapon of last resort for them totally and, uh, doesn't mean they won't bite mm -hmm. course, but, uh, the internal intents and purposes you wouldn't even know he was alive except for the fact that just a moment ago i saw him twitch because something irritated his left side and his skin twitched. Yeah, that's about the most movement you'll see out of him. Mm-hmm. I haven't even seen him breathe. There he went. I'm just, I can see him breathing now. Those, those patterns are, are as unique as fingerprints, but he's got some of the most unusual combination of patterns. Mm-hmm. Um, I've seen his, his yellow look almost orange. Uh, well, so as you can see, this rattlesnake has not even flinched since we've been here. Well, aside from the actual flinch that he did when uh, a little bug crawled on him. But uh, he's not reacted to our presence, and more than likely when we leave, he will crawl off to another location. I'm going to come back in a few hours and see how far he's moved. Um, but, uh, yeah, we've uh, it was a really uh, a great experience. I appreciate you bringing me down here, and uh, thank you for the, the uh, opportunity. And I really hope that uh, we can... I'll let some folks out there, whoever's watching this, see that um, these animals are beautiful and absolutely um, not what all of our history and culture says about them. It is not an aggressive animal. No, not an aggressive animal at all. An aggressive really. animal does not act like that. That's a defensive animal and yep. wants nothing more than to be left alone and and uh, so, which is what we should do. That's right. So let's go. Give them a wide berth. Yep.